Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming and welcome. I know there's a lot of interesting little challenges we're having here in South Africa with the um, electricity. But anyway, here we are. I'm actually hotspotting for my phone because the other one wasn't clear. So anyway, all is well. We're going to um, start and just send that love and gratitude out to our beloved Earth. Let's take some slow, deep breaths to get into that peaceful, receptive state. So we breathe in slowly and deeply. We hold our breath. We breathe out. And we hold our breath. Let's do that for a few more breaths. Now let's listen for our heartbeat. Our heartbeat which is a pulse of light coming down through the silver cord from our mighty iron presence anchoring in our heart, giving us life. Let's just see and feel and bless that heartbeat. That heartbeat that anchors into that beautiful three-four flame which is the anchorage of our mighty I am presence within our physical bodies. Let's just connect with that beautiful flame as we sit in that expanded golden flame in the center, golden yellow flame of wisdom and illumination, perception and discrimination. We see our bodies in this beautiful dazzling golden flame to the right, we can see the pink flame, that glorious, dazzling pink flame of pure divine love. And then we see to the left of us that beautiful expanded flame, that sapphire blue, bringing into us the feeling of the will, the power, the faith and the protection from our mighty I Am Presence. See and feel and bless this glorious light. Let's take our awareness now up through the top of our head, through the silver cord, to our mighty beloved I Am Presence. Let's see this glorious, all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving presence smiling down on us. Our wonderful presence of God, I am. And now we see in the center of our chest a beautiful golden sun forming. Dazzling and brilliant like the noonday sun. The beautiful focus of light from our I am presence. Open our hearts and send love and gratitude to our mighty I Am Presence for beating our heart and giving us life. And now we see those rays from our beautiful sun in the center of our chest, dazzling and brilliant, billions and billions of rays going forth and connecting up with each and every miniature sun in all the cells of our bodies, our four earthly bodies, all those little inner workers receiving this expanded light. Let's feel the joy, the happiness, and the gratitude of each and every little inner worker of our four earthly bodies. Sense and see and feel that wonderful light saturating our earthly bodies. And now let's just fill our feelings with a feeling of love and gratitude. And let's call to the beloved Ascended Masters 
beloved Ascended Master David Lloyd, the great God of gratitude, to fill us, each one and all mankind, with this feeling, that light substance, from the Ascended Master realm of gratitude and love. We see our beautiful suns turning a deep shade of pink with a golden radiance. Gratitude and love for all our many, many blessings. Gratitude and love to the great Ascended Host for these marvelous teachings. Gratitude and love for all our loved ones and our friends. Gratitude and love for our homes and our supply. Gratitude and love for all the many, many blessings that we receive daily on our earthly journeys. Gratitude to the great and beloved elemental kingdom, animate and so-called inanimate, the beauty and bounty of nature. God bless, love and thank them, each and every precious one. Gratitude to the beloved angels. And gratitude to all life on our beloved earth. And now we see these rays in this wonderful expanded state, forming a lattice of light, dazzling and brilliant. We see our entire earth folded in this glorious pink and golden light saturating every part of life on our beloved earth, especially those parts of life that are never loved or thanked with this wonderful gift, our opportunity of sending love, light and gratitude to all life. And we just give deep, deep thanks for this. And what a blessing it is. We can send love and gratitude to the world. And um, so I'm just thinking now who would like to read. And um, Drew, would you like to read? Have, have you got a screen or are you on a phone? I'm not sure she actually gets, sometimes she has a problem with her mic. Uh, hi. Uh, hello, Anthea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can actually read. I'm on my phone, but I can see it. <laughs> okay, lovely. Thank you so much. All right, and good evening to everybody. Um, beloved presence of God, I am. It is thy life and intelligence that enables me to read and comprehend and absorb that which is required of me. For life, I am so grateful. Beloved Master Kutumi, I ask for your feeling and your capacity to use this instruction for God's glory and mankind's comfort. We thank you. And now, great I am presence, take me within thyself. There instruct me and cause me to retain the full memory of these inner instructions. Thank you. From beloved Saint Germain. Thank you, beloved Drew. Lovely. I hope my, I just had a little message saying my internet's a bit unstable. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I'm sure it will hold out. Um, so we're going to uh, continue with chapter nine. And beloved Saint Germain explains that we are approaching a period when the release of the great cosmic love, wisdom, and energy, the mighty light rays, will not only quicken the minds of the race, but the atomic structure of the earth as well. And I believe that's really where we are right now. And you know, there's a lot of light as we um are reminded daily, I think ourselves, and also just so much knowledge of this light coming in from all different um, avenues. 
different places we hear about it. And so it's just interesting. And really what we've got to look forward to, you know, is we're just going to be this marvelous dawning of our beautiful golden age, our beloved earth coming into her permanent golden age. And then um, it's a new video that I, I managed to make um um, before, you know, before today, it's the great surrender to the Christ within by beloved Lord Maitreya. This was actually sent by Mickey um, a while back. It's just so lovely. Um, beloved Lord Maitreya, bless him. Anyway, and then Terry is going because um, beloved Roxy Ann's got, um, I think she must have workers or something in her house, but she said it was going to be noisy. So beloved Terry stepping in, bless you, beloved Terry. And we're going to start reading from beloved Lady Meta talking about Sanat Kamara's sacrifice. And really, it's from the dictations book. And uh, Terry is reading this book at the moment for us. It's such a blessing. So um, it's just a lovely th thing to listen to. So if you ever want to listen to something, just quietly, just lie down and listen. It's just wonderful. You go onto the um, free um, book little tab at the top of the work, uh, website and you'll see audio book. And you you can go in there and you'll get it. She's done quite a few already. Just beautiful, beloved Terry. Thank you. And then I'm going to read um, from Lady Consonants. It's actually really lovely. The conductor of the planetary symphony and the importance of color and sound. And then our beloved Antoinette will talk take us through actually the most important part of the whole session, our decrees. So we're just so grateful for that. So now we're going to um, listen to Gerald Craig reading from the St. Germain Foundation. And it's just marvelous. Thank you. Just preceding each of these great outpourings, extraordinary physical disturbances occur and general unrest is felt throughout by the people. Such disturbance is due to the discord that has accumulated during the last of the preceding period. Generation of such inharmony is due always to the wandering away from the fundamental principle of life and the human sense disturbance thus created pollutes the outer activity of mankind, the earth, and its atmosphere. It is to cleanse this and bring humanity back to the original purity of life the cataclysmic action takes place. It is following these periods that Kumars release an enormous outpouring of light to illumine and strengthen Earth's children, ultimately enabling them to make the supreme attainment. We are approaching another such period, and this time the release of the great cosmic love, wisdom, and energy, the mighty rays of light, will not only quicken the minds of the race, but the atomic structure of Earth as well, making it more luminous in our solar system. Never since these great lords of the flame came to Earth have conditions permitted such a great outpouring to take place, as will occur ere long. Many who have seemed to become hardened by their former activities will awaken, as it were, almost overnight, and feel the nearness of the great God present within each heart. Many who have been meek and humble, but holding close to the inner presence, will suddenly blaze forth, amazing themselves as well as others, by the transcendent light they will manifest. All will be done by the power of God love, and humanity will truly begin to realize that it is the height of folly for one part of God's creation to war against another part. The desire to bless others instead of themselves will almost involuntarily enter into the hearts of mankind and send forth a light that will illumine the rest of the way to perfection. Selfishness alone holds the children of this sphere in the bondage and misery which have been allowed to express upon earth. But when the light of the Christ expands the love in the heart, selfishness flees and returns to the sea of forgetfulness. Great natural physical changes will take place. Two great centers of light will pour forth their blessing to humanity. One, the glorious glistening presence of Shambhala in its dazzling radiance, and the other will appear in the United States not, however, where any so far have been led to believe, but at a point which has not yet been indicated 
to outer channels of the world. During the present activity of assistance and intense outpouring of light by the great ascended host who assist the children of earth, hundreds of humanity will find their present physical bodies being quickened by the rapid raising of the vibratory rate, and as this is completed we'll realize that human physical limitation and discord have dropped away like an old worn-out garment, and that they, the children of light, stand forever at one with the flame of life everlasting, and the perfection of eternal youth and beauty of visible, tangible reality. Beloved children of earth, you stand upon the threshold of the ages. Its door is being held open by the great ones of love, who ever invite you to walk consciously by their side in the light. No matter what the activities in the world without, walk with the light and in the light, regardless of appearances. Then will you find a master of light who has trod this self-same path before you, ever watches and stands by your side, revealing the true way. The cycle changes and we enter a new dispensation that brings with it a safer, more powerful, and yet rapid means by which the one climbing the path to attainment is enabled to hold permanent contact with the great cosmic light. Absolutely marvelous, isn't that just a wonderful thought? And that's what we've got to look forward to. And now uh, we're going to listen to this um, wonder the wonderful uh, words of beloved Lord Retreya. This is from The Bridge to Spiritual Freedom, from December 1993, and it was given at the Shambhala headquarters from beloved Lord Maitreya, and he says, Beloved of my heart, you are teachers, you are guardians of the flame of love, for who else would desire to be a teacher? In order to be a proficient teacher, you must first learn the lessons yourself. This is done by placing your all at the feet of the inner light. Step through the gateway and enter into the holy flame of love within your heart. There, offer your substance and your knowledge to the Christ and you shall receive the understanding of how it must be used. As you listen with your heart, you will hear the voice of your inner Christ say to you, My beloved of the ages, I am so grateful that you have at last heard my voice. It is a joy to have you in my holy chamber. Enter and stay for as long as you wish, for, in reality, this chamber is your own. As you put aside the old and open your mind to new ideas, testing them to the best of your ability, know that I am with you. I have always loved you and I always shall. As you release all fear, my beloved, you shall wear the crown of your mother and carry the scepter of your father and remain in this sacred place for all eternity. Beloved Chilas, listen to the teachings of your inner Christ, for they are given out of pure divine love. Love your Christ self in return, for through it you will be able to love the Christ in others. This is the true meaning of the Christ calling out to its own. All others are stirred from their spiritual sleep by this call of love, the call, generated by your love for the Christ within your own heart, becomes the first cause of the awakening of many of your brothers and sisters in the human family. They will answer by being drawn to you for teaching. When you teach the seekers of truth, remember what beloved Kathumi has said. On the way to mastery, everyone comes to a place on the path where he no longer looks for the teacher without but he begins to turn to the still, small voice that is within. He then begins to rely solely on intuition. Next, upon contact with the presence, which precedes self-conscious mastery and divine freedom from all human concepts and all human form. Therein lies the key of how to teach. 
always remember that you are acting merely as a bridge between the outer personality and the inner Christ. Once a person contacts the Christ who dwells within, he has begun to build his own bridge of consciousness. When this takes place, the teacher steps aside in gratitude and supports his brother by holding the divine concept on his behalf, knowing that his own determination will set him free. Because you must first accomplish this for yourself, I offer you an exercise that will help to achieve this goal. Sit quietly and center yourself in your threefold flame. Place your undivided attention upon it. Now step into the heart of the sacred flame. Remaining in this state of consciousness, you begin to see only through the eyes of the Christ. You feel the divine emotions of the Christ. When this is established, gently and slowly begin to draw your consciousness upward to the third eye chakra. Feeling the expansion of your threefold flame as you do so, Realize this as the only Christ self grown to full stature. For you are at one with the love nature of the Christ in your heart and you are unifying it with the divine mind of God. The success of this exercise depends upon the willingness to become one in consciousness with your divine teacher. This exercise not only bridges the outer consciousness with the inner light, but it draws you closer to your God Presence, the Great I Am Presence, and raises the planetary vibration as well. Dear ones, the path toward ascension is no longer a lonely path. When we walked upon the earth, it was often necessary to seclude ourselves in order to achieve our spiritual objectives. However, you know that after we secured our goals, we returned to bless the masses with our divine heritage. We never forced any part of life to accept our teachings. We blessed the masses through our radiation, stirring within their beings the truth of their own divine reality. This is the way that you, our chilas, must now begin to teach. The consciousness of humankind has evolved to such a degree that the Christ within can now teach the individual. The master each one seeks is set free in the heart flame of every person on the earth. Dear ones, I tell you now, seek no more. You have found the master's abode. You are teachers of truth. Move forward with your divine plan. Command it, affirm, I am the resurrection and the life of the perfection of my divine plan manifest in the world of form, right here, right now, and forever sustained. The sanctuary within your heart is a beautiful retreat. It shall manifest in the physical world as a radiant sun, so that whoever sees it will face his own inner light and say, O oh, brilliant star of my true being, I shall follow thee now and forever. I am free. Call upon my beloved world teachers, and they will help you to teach the truth that shall set this sacred planet free for all eternity. Rest now within the embrace of my love, Maitreya. There we have it. Listen to the still small voice within. I just thought it was so lovely. Um, so, beloved Terry, thank you so much. I'm going to stop the share. I hope the sound's okay. But anyway, um, we're going to continue. As Antoinette said, for, always says forward we march, and there we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> beloved um, Terry, thank you so much. Thank you, beloved. Um, you sound great, and that video was marvelous. Thank you. Greetings, everyone.
Address by Beloved Ascended Lady Master Meta. This is from the Dictations by the Ascended Masters. Introduction by Beloved Thomas Prince, who is, of course, El Moria. Our love and gratitude extends to our Lord Sanat Kamara, Beloved Venus, and the Lady Master Meta, their Daughter of Light. May all who read it find inspiration to become a part of that great brotherhood whose service is to learn to consciously generate and project the light rays which dissipate the evils created by mankind before mankind themselves have to reap the imperfect harvest they have sown. Blessed Meta, your activities in the focusing of conscious students in the etheric cities has preserved mankind to this present day. We call now that unascended beings may open their consciousness, hearts, and beings to these light rays and become spiritual partners with your trained students who serve at inner levels. We call also that every chila may master the magnetization and direction of the light rays whenever and wherever needed to remove distress and to bring peace, healing, protection, enlightenment, and God control to their fellow men. Sanat Kamara's Sacrifice by Beloved Metta Beloved sons and daughters of God, I bring to you the particular and specific benedictions of Sanat Kamara, my blessed father, and the beloved Venus, my holy mother. I bring you also the blessings of all the ladies of heaven who are particularly interested in your endeavors to expand the radiation of healing through sustained harmony in your feelings. It is many, many centuries, as recorded by human time, since my father returned from a conclave of the sons of this system. I remember as though it were yesterday, the day he divulged the information to my mother and our family that through cosmic vote and through divine justice of the impersonal universal law, the planet Earth had lost the right to draw any more energy or to be further sustained by the self-conscious sacrifice of elemental life. Neither was it longer entitled to receive the release of substance, power, and light from the sun, from the angelic host and those other beings who had guarded her thus far. It was thought by the cosmic law to be the part of wisdom and justice to return this earth again to the unformed, to primal life, that its substance might be repolarized and formed anew in the womb of some future sun, to be a cradle for some other evolution, perhaps more willing and desirous of fulfilling the will of God. My mother, as you know, feeling the love within my father's heart, for the beloved earth and its evolutions, gave him full freedom to offer his light and his love to sustain the planet if the cosmic law would accept his offer of assistance. Therefore, he went to the cosmic authorities of this system with a joyous heart, proffering his help, and as you are aware, his gift of love and sacrifice was accepted. It was not long thereafter that the first group of volunteers left Venus to prepare a place for him on the earth, a place befitting his great rank and his great and mighty service to this planet and the universe. These endeavored in every way to recreate the atmosphere which he knew and loved so well upon our star, Venus. Then came the day when he himself was to take leave of our planet to take leave of its people and us, and to rise into the atmosphere over Venus, as he had so often done before. However, this time he passed out beyond the periphery of our sphere of influence and entered into the habitation in the atmosphere of Earth. All through the history of Venus, the Kamaras had ascended into the atmosphere of the star on great occasions, such as cosmic feast days, or at times when they wished to address all the population of the globe at one time. Like stars blazing in the firmament, they were able to direct an address that would envelop the planet through radiation, through color, and spiritual telepathy. 
This message would then be received by each individual in his own locality. Therefore, our people were neither surprised nor startled to see the great Sanat Kamara ascend into the heavens above our star. Only a few of us, the immediate family, the council, the priests and priestesses of the temples, only these knew that the being ensouling the light above our star would shortly begin a journey which would take him from our home and planet for a period which we thought at the most would be of but a few centuries duration. Sanat Kamara was the embodiment of all our hope and love, the greatest being evolved upon the star. It has been a long, long time that the queen of love has reigned alone, acting as man and woman, as father and mother, to an evolution so magnificent and so beautiful that discord of any kind is unknown in her realm. Not one electron drawn from the universal has ever been qualified imperfectly there by angel, elemental, or the evolution which is parallel to the divinely mature expression of your humankind. Each life stream on Venus, each newborn soul and spirit, attains and develops mastery in absolute harmony. That, too, was the design for your beloved Earth and is the design of the father of all light and love for every planet and star in the entire universe. The earth forgot this, not because of her people themselves, but because of the contamination they absorbed through radiation and contagion from the polluted consciousnesses of those who came here from other stars, to whom she, the earth, had previously extended hospitality that they might complete the evolution which they had neglected in their native spheres. Because the earth in herself is sweet, because her evolving peoples are fundamentally harmless, and because the guardian spirits who came from other stars and planets to serve and sacrifice like unto that of my father have served well, the great cosmic law has allowed more than ordinary assistance to be given this small planet at this time. Thus, beloved ones, we continued on Venus without the presence of our king for a long, long period of time. And finally, my mother suggested that I come here to give the assistance of my love and light until the victory of the earth was assured. We had, of course, visited the sphere many times, having accompanied groups of envoys from Venus who entered the Earth's atmosphere on various occasions. The joyous intercourse, therefore, that existed between our planet and yours gave us a certain freedom, and of course, all through the ages after my father's departure from Venus, we were in constant communication with the beloved exiles. However, you can see that this is not exactly the same as using the energies of your being to serve on a planet of your own choice and evolution. May I say then, just in passing, that we offer our extreme and personal gratitude to you, each and every one, who is interested in the cause of Sanat Kamara. Do you realize that for many centuries, even his precious name was unknown to the mankind of Earth? Yet when man hears that name, he invariably feel, feels a thrill of happiness within his heart. I need not describe this sensation to you, for each of you felt it when the name of Sanat Kamara was first brought to your attention, either through worded expression or the written page. And we who are serving life to set him free, we who are endeavoring to help the earth complete, complete her course of evolution, are grateful to you grateful beyond all words to describe for your interest and your sweet cooperation in our cause. Ah, oh, bless you, beloved Terry. And oh, how can we ever thank beloved Sanat Kamara enough? Great. If you think of four and a half billion years, he, he was here. 
I mean, he did, uh, as we know, went back in January of 1956, and then he chose to come back again in the 70s, we're told, to assist Saint Germain at this critical time. And he is in embodiment at the moment. We know that for sure in Indonesia, just quite extraordinary. Anyway, and as we know, Venus, such a bright star, you know, by far the brightest, just so marvelous. And so now we're going to change to share again. And oh, this, whoopsie. And I love this one. I did share it on, on the groups and everything, and but I thought it would be nice to share it here. It's from beloved Eileen Caddy, and and I get the weekly guidance um, from Fintorn, and I think David might be on, David, who's from Fintorn, because he comes every week, so it was lonely. And it's just so brilliant, but it's because she says it's, well, she's given divine guidance from her own I am presence and the beloved ascended masters when she was still in embodiment. And um, it's not you, your con your uh, circumstances which need changing. It is your consciousness. And as we know, just such true words. And she was told, keep your thoughts ever pure, loving, constructive, and positive, as this causes your consciousness to expand. As you expand your consciousness, you take in more and more light and then radiate it out. You become illumined within and without. The whole of your being feels different and you look different because you are light and divine love is flowing through you. By expanding your consciousness, you can change your whole outlook and way of life. It is not your circumstances, circumstances that need changing. It is your consciousness. It does not matter where you are or what you are doing. When your consciousness is raised and you can see me, that's our great I am presence in everything and everyone, then you can find heaven upon this earth. I just so love you. I just loved that one this week. It was just marvelous. And now um, we have this wonderful opportunity to call for our brothers and sisters that have left their physical bodies and have moved into the psychic and astral realm. So we say together, beloved presence of God, I am in me and beloved immortal threefold flame of eternal truth within my heart and beloved Saint Germain. While my body sleeps this night, let all the constructive energy of my entire life stream including that in my causal body, be used to render whatever service is needed in the violet flame temples established in the psychic and astral realms to draw the full gathered cosmic momentum of the violet purifying flame of divine love and compassion through every discarnate life stream there. Let all the souls who dwell in those realms be drawn into those purifying temples of mercy and compassion and there have the accumulated destructively qualified energies of their life streams purified and transmuted so that when they are summoned for re-embodiment by the lords of karma they bring into incarnation only a heritage of perfection and carry in their life streams no miscreations that would add to their own or the world's distress. We accept this done now with full cosmic power and so be it, beloved I am. And just how grateful we are. We thank you for this opportunity. And now we're going to, this is a short run, but it just made me laugh. It's just too sweet. It's um, Indigo Burns, this cat. And just how, you know, animals, they just have this way. And he's, he's um, it's a resident of this museum and just uh, changed the whole atmosphere. But I hope you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Indiana Bones, and I run this museum. People say I'm a delight to have around here. I like hanging out with the skeletons and spooking people out. Sometimes I really show up out of nowhere. Because as you now know, I run the place. I have access to every back room. I've even made some other friends. I even have my own office where I can keep an eye on my subordinates. They have really good things to say about me. Everybody here loves Indy. We are all pretty much in agreement that we work for a cat now. We fight for my chair, uh, even though there are four other empty chairs. I don't know what they're talking about. They love me. I was actually just named Employee of the Month, obviously. Indy has improved office morale by like a thousand percent. I truly love my job.
I was, yeah, Indiana Jones. I just so sweet these these animals. Anyway, so now we have the opportunity. We're going to say our decree for our animal, insect, and reptiles. So we say together, beloved, I am presence of all mankind. Charge your mighty light of mercy and compassion to flow through us all and bring comfort to the animal kingdom. May each human being remember and accept their responsibility as guardians and protectors of this planet's pure and innocent life until all is set free and their divine plans fulfilled. We so decree it and so be it in God's most holy name I am. We accept it done and we thank you. And so we do. And now I'm going to um, just swap here quickly. I'm going to read from beloved Lady Consonants. And she's the conductor of the Planetary Symphony. And she says, I'm Consonants, the conductor of the Planetary Symphony, who works with beloved Harmony. So it's probably God Le Moray, having have the uh, who with beloved Harmony, sorry, have the joyous opportunity to acquaint mankind again with the conscious recreation that comes through constructive music and color. Too long has the Earth's vibratory action been so dissonant that it has not contributed to the song of the cosmos. Now, with the song of recreation, now the song of recreation shall rise from the grateful hearts participating in the service. All kingdoms being so resuscitated sh shall contribute to this melodious expression. The wearing of the color whose ray is predominant each day assists the individual so doing as like attracts like in any sphere. The color acts as a magnet for the divine being whose radiation is pouring forth during this, during each 24 hour period. When science and religion cooperate, we will see the manifest expression of the use of constructive color and musical therapy. It is the divine edict that in all the seven constructive channels of expression, science and religion are to become one. Powerful examples are apparent in the ultraviolet ray, the green ray of medical profession, and the fashion designers in their selection of color who have in some instances tuned into the color of the ray of the year. In the world of commerce, as well as the medical field, color and musical therapy have already proved their efficacy, although the exploration of this field is only in infancy. The, the pigment of the substance varies in different locations because the very body of the earth, Virgo's vestments, has been despoiled temporarily, thank God, by the various destructive activities in which mankind has been engaged through the ages. These portions of the land and surface are the, of the earth, which are barren, are the result of selfishness and greed. In the glorious process of restoration, these landed services, surfaces shall again become pro prolific through the loving cooperation of the nature kingdom and its mighty directors. The very men who in the past, in ages past, were the cause of these destructive conditions are now in embodiment through the mercy of the karmic board so that they may make restitution for their misdeeds and assist the nature kingdom and its directors in the restoring of a beautiful, verdant, harmonious, and God-designed focus in the place of wasteland. Soil conservation is one example. Music has color. Every musical composition sends forth a definite color of beneficent radiation when the composer has received into himself a portion of the song of the cosmos and has translated it without adulterating it by any personal defections. However, every individual who later gives a rendition of the composition enhances or deflects from its original beauty. The sensitivity of the true artist received into himself or herself the inspiration of the original composer, the purpose for which such a composition has come forth, and amplifies through the purity of his or her nature this blessing to life everywhere and adds to the harmony of the cosmos. Every thought, feeling, word, and action have color and sound. 
In this process of recreation, it is our purpose to teach mankind to discontinue the misuse of thought, feeling, word, and action, thus dissolving the thought forms of an imperfect nature at the inner levels, as well as in the physical appearance world. Each man, woman, and child will then be enabled to consciously use these creative faculties in building the cathedrals of worship for their own souls and help to imbue the masses with, same, with the same desire to become harmonious expression of God's love. And how lovely is that? Beloved consonants, thank you so much for this. And now we're going to listen to this from the Heart Center. They do marvelous things. That's David um, Lewis. Um, and th this one came up on the YouTube um, tunnel on the side there. So I just thought it would be lovely for today. I hope you enjoy it. They're very, very clever, these chaps. a beautiful video and a wonderful song i just it's just really lovely i thought thank you beloved antoinette thank you so much thank you anthea 
I find those kind of videos always help so much with visualization. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you. So now we begin with our decrees for the world. By giving our love, power, and authority to our beloved I Am Presence, we join our hearts together as we make these calls for the purification of our beloved Earth and all life on her. We say together, Mighty I Am Presence, great host of Ascended Masters, Archangels and Elohim, cosmic beings and great cosmic light, come forth now in all your cosmic power. Withdraw and withhold all power from destructive forces and individuals with destructive intent throughout the world right now and forever, whether it is conscious or unconscious. Expose, seize, bind and render helpless all these sinister forces and their activities until the light has removed them completely and illumine the source so this may never act again and raise up to positions of power the divinely chosen leaders. Replace all with ascended master consciousness and the divine plan fulfilled. We thank you. our tube of light for protection. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved Archangel Michael and beloved Commander Conrad, continually intensify your protective pillar of pure light substance and Archangel Michael's armor of light through and around me, charged with your invincible protection, all powerful and impenetrable. I am invisible, I am invincible, I am invulnerable to anything but thy almighty perfection. I am grateful that we are given whatever added protection is needed and what we ask for ourselves, we ask for our loved ones and that which is constructive in all mankind and the world. Thank you. And now we just apply the law and build this pillar of protection around ourselves, our loved ones, our friends and families, and all those across the face of the earth standing up for truth, justice, and freedom for all life on this earth. That mighty pillar of pure light substance, charged with that feeling of love and ascended master faith in this pillar of protection. We thank you. Our decree for divine justice. I am the most intensified cosmic action of the flame of divine justice blazing throughout the world right now and forever. I am the law. I am the justice. I am the judge. I am the jury. Knowing that I am all-powerful, then I know that only divine justice can prevail right now and forever. Beloved Lady Portia, ensure divine justice prevails throughout the world right now and forever. And so be it, and so it is, and it is done. Beloved I am, we thank you. Beloved cosmic I am presence and great goddess of liberty, direct the cosmic light of liberty as of a thousand suns into the cause and call of anything attempting to delay the divine plan of the great white brotherhood for the earth's eternal freedom and release from all tyranny here and now. So be it, beloved I am, we thank you. In the name of my mighty I am presence, great cosmic beings and great cosmic light, I decree, I am the presence, charging the minds and feelings of everybody in America and the world with Saint Germain's ascended master consciousness and perfection right now and forever. I am the presence, blessing, illumining, perfecting and setting all free in service to the light. 
our violet fire decree. Mighty Iron Presence, beloved Saint Germain, and those that minister to the violet flame, come forth now and blaze your cosmic violet fire and cause a mighty victory for all the world to see. I am the law of forgiveness in cosmic action now. I am the victory of the sacred fire in all its cosmic power. Mighty angels descend with your purple wands of fire and strike them into the center of every place where there has been a history of sinister force activity. Transmute and consume it all. Cause, call, record, effect, and memory. And set it all free from that which was never meant to be. Replace it all with ascended master consciousness and the divine plan for hold. We thank you.
And now, with that feeling of ascended master, victorious accomplishment, we say together, I am the victory of the light. I am the victory of the light. I am the victory of the light. I am the cosmic flame of victory, which reigns supreme everywhere, right now and forever. We accept these calls answered as they are made, according to thy will, with full cosmic power, maintained and doubled each hour, each instant of each hour, until fully manifest. And so be it, and so it is, and it is done. Beloved I am, we thank you. And now we end off, as we always do, by making that call to the secret love star, that mighty focus of cosmic divine love from the great central sun. That mighty focus shining in the heavens for this 2000 year period, that mighty light that cannot be requalified with human thoughts or feelings. And we now see and visualize that great star of light. And we ask that each and every one of us Every man, woman, and child, and all elemental life be clothed in the substance of the secret love star. Those pink and golden rays, that glorious substance that pushes out all imperfection of any kind and just fills us to overflowing with feelings of divine love, of harmony, of charity courtesy, grace and goodwill, those feelings of unity, one holy family. Beloved secret love star, make each and every one of us, all mankind and the entire nature kingdom, a living son of pure divine love. And we just see our earth absolutely ablaze with this mighty, pink and golden ray from the secret love star. We send our deep love and gratitude to all the beings of light who maintain and sustain this great gift, the focus of cosmic divine love. Mighty I am presence of all mankind, come forth, charge every man, woman and child, all life evolving on this sweet earth in light and love from the secret love star and keep it eternally sustained. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, beloved Antoinette. And just absolutely the wonderful rays from the secret love star flooding our beloved earth. And now um, i just like to see, um, Elaine, beloved, are you, are you able to read the closing invocation? I don't know whether you've got Mike there. It might be nice. Okay, I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> All right, so let's just see. Solomon, beloved, are, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, aren't you? Thank you, beloved, thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, before ending the section, we all say with our mics muted, the loved I am presence and beloved Pastor Kutumi, nourish the seeds planted in my consciousness so that the ideas entrusted to me become manifest flowers of perfect expression in my world and in the world of all my fellow men. The loved presence of God I am, pour the light of thy great glory upon my consciousness and nourish the seeds planted. By the master, we thank you. Marvelous. Bless you. Thank you so much. And then we have it, everybody. Thank you so much. I know we all having quite, I'm just going to um, stop the share. Thanks very much for coming. <laughs> Got a very windy um, time up here in Johannesburg. I think the Cape Town crowd sent their, their weather up here.
Hello. Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. Mm, thank you. It was wonderful indeed, as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You're all awesome people. <laughs> Thanks, everyone that shows up. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. That was wonderful um, sentiment shared by everyone, it seems. Such mm -hmm. a radiant service from a radiant being. Thank you, Anthea. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's not mine. Mine, it's definitely not me, but they, well, thank you, beloved. <laughs> <laughs> My, um, presence in everyone. It was, yeah, and also just wonderful teachings from the beloved Sina Masters. Yeah, we're blessed. Mm. Yeah. And so, uh, what's the group that that song that you added? What was that? It's um, um the Heart Center. The Heart Center. It's the Heart Center, yeah. So David Lewis, and um, yeah, no, they're very wonderful. They do amazing work. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yes. Yeah, no, very good. I agree. It was lovely, lovely video. You might have to use it for morning service, hey, and but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I uh, Mickey's there, I see. I'm here. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi, Mickey. Hi. It's so good to be with you each Monday. I mm -hmm. look uh, forward to beautiful ceremony. Thank you. Oh, and I like your earrings, beloved. Oh, they're all hearts coming down on each side. <laughs> 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 Lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Lovely, everybody. Well, we'll, we'll end off. Thank you so much. Nice to see Fiona and everybody. All right. You have a great day. Yes. Great week. Yes, bless you all. Love you. See you yes. next yeah. week. Have a wonderful yeah. week. God bless you all. Love you. Love everyone. God bless you all. Bye, Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jenna, beloved.